Are we ready? Good afternoon, Milwaukee. Thank you for your time. This morning I was taking the deposition of Sergeant Jeffrey Greer in the Sterling Brown case. During that deposition, Sergeant Greer admitted under oath that he failed to protect Sterling Brown's safety. We have been involved in depositions for the past two weeks.
that Milwaukee police officers cannot approach a young African American man in the city, push them, tell them they own it, they own this. And I'll tell you, we have sworn testimony on our oath that the officer that said we I own this was told that that had racist overtone. Now that's an admission that this until we have absolute admissions, we're not really talking about it. What do you Beyond want the city? Dollar amount, what do you need the city to say as part of the settlement? We have said from day one that we have to change what happens in this city. And when we all watch on TV and we can see a young person's constitutional rights violated, a young African American who happens to be on a date who then is taken down and tased in front of his date, just subjugated. Until we say we're not going to let this happen to young African Americans in this city, you know, this lawsuit's going to proceed. What do you make of the city's statement that, you know, these negotiations aren't successful at this point? Well, you know, I think if you're going to talk negotiations, one should call and talk. I shouldn't read about offers in the press. So that's what I think about negotiations. I don't think there were negotiations. Are you subscribing to this law for some sort of knowledge? Frankly, as a taxpayer of the city, and knowing what the chief said on TV, what my mayor said on TV, I am amazed at the recalcitrance in this building. We have officers that were there that have admitted to violating Mr. Brown's constitutional rights. Yet we have a witness designated by the city that looks into a camera to the jury under oath and said we didn't violate those rights. That is a huge, huge problem in my town, our town. Legally, can any of the depositions receive the supporting statement of the associations earlier to the media? Some of these deposition transcripts I don't even have, and that's a different question. You can call me later. So again, for clarification, Sterling Brown is unaware of this potential offer. Certainly, Mr. Brown hasn't heard from me. It's all over the press. Whether or not he has seen it, I don't know. But I can tell you this without breaching any attorney-client privilege. I have not had a chance to communicate with him in any way about the fact that there was a news story about a proposed offer before his lawyer even knew about the offer. What do you make of the, I guess there's a list of efforts, I guess, in that letter that the city and the police department have taken or have made since Mr. Brown's arrest. What do you make of those? You know, and to be, how do I say it? Mr. Langley and I have had discussions about how not only the lawsuit needs to be addressed, but what policies need to change in the department. So there were discussions along those lines. The city has made changes after this lawsuit was filed that are going to lead, hopefully, to good things. They're doing random checks of body cams so they have some periodic checkup of what is actually happening on the street. The fact that he concedes that's at least a result of Mr. Brown filing this lawsuit, I think is significant. Because Mr. Brown said, I want to help change what happens on the street for every person in Milwaukee. We have had discussions that you have to pay attention to, are we going to discipline for excessive force? Are we going to discipline officers when they act that's racially motivated? There's sworn testimony that since 2008 that there hasn't been a discipline for race-based conduct. We're out there trying to collect how many complaints since 2008 there have been that have been racially motivated. Thank you. Thank you.
that people have been racially insulted. Because it's astonishing to me in my city that if we have a period of a decade more, let me 12 years, and we don't have a single sustained discipline for race-based conduct, it's mind-blowing. I mean, we know in this case, Chief, the Chief himself said the Facebook, the social media posts, were racist. And if you look at the discipline for Officer Andrade, it never mentions race once. It's simply a violation of the social media policy. So what's the lesson learned? One officer says, just watch what you post. It did say you can't be out there and be a racist. Well, first of all, I have an obligation to Sterling Brown to, if an offer is actually made, sit down and discuss it with him before. 